Hey guys, I shared with you how we are doing the carnivore diet and today I want to share with you a few changes we've made in the kitchen that make meal prep so much easier. I'm Heidi with Heavenly Minded Home and welcome back to our channel. I shared with you guys before how our family has been doing the carnivore diet for the past couple of months. I will link the playlist down in the description for the other videos where we've explained what it is, what we're eating. I've showed you around the grocery store, our favorite staples here in the house. But today I just wanted to share with you a few simple changes we've made in the kitchen to um, kind of just complement the carnivore diet a little bit more. I didn't realize how different it would be purchasing just meat and animal products. Um, you don't realize how much of your kitchen, the way you cook, the way you store food, the way things are set up, how much of that really has to do with keeping a lot of stuff in the pantry, buying a lot of you know fruits and vegetables, having grains and different convenience foods. So not purchasing those things for the past couple months has really allowed us to kind of change the way we're using different areas of our kitchen. Now for our family, like I said, we've been doing this, we went into this doing this as a family, all of us kids included. Now that we are a couple months in, I am staying definitely more strict with the carnivore diet where the kids are leaning more kind of ketovore. So we've, we've kind of brought in a couple things for them. For us, this was all about an elimination diet, pulling everything out, allowing our bodies to heal, and then slowly working certain things back in to see where our bodies are with them, right? I'm starting to notice a lot of fruits and vegetables that I used to love and consume so much when I was trying to focus on more of a plant-based diet are the foods that were causing me inflammation and a lot of issues that I really don't wanna to have to deal with. So being able to see those things, eliminate those things out has been a huge help. I'm balancing my hormones, losing weight, and just feeling so much better overall. So the first thing we notice when buying meat and animal products is how much free space we actually have in our kitchen. We live in an older house. Our house was built in the 70s. Um, we've got kind of a funky pantry space here. Our fridge space does not even allow for a full-size fridge. So we don't really have an apartment-size fridge, but we don't have a really full-size fridge either. We're somewhere in the middle. Um, old funky house, it's always meant that when we were doing things, we kind of had to be creative. Now, since doing this, I'm realizing how much space we have in our pantry. I left a few things in when I originally cleared out our pantry when we started the diet. Like I said, we brought in a couple things. We do let the kids as a treat. They have pancakes once a week. Um, I do let them have stuff for oatmeal. Um, so we do have a few things in our pantry, but largely we have a big open space. We have lots of room to hold our sparkling water, which is a plus because we go through a lot of sparkling water. I've got a basket to hold the kids um, Chromebooks and headphones and chargers, things like that. It's kind of nice having this like newfound space for just household storage because we're not packing our pantry full of different grocery items that we used to. We really don't have very much that we need to store in there now and it's really kind of fantastic to have this extra space. It's been great to really minimize and simplify out all of that stuff so there's just not so much needing to be crammed into our pantry any longer. The next thing that's been huge is with doing the carnivore diet, I'm essentially only using my cast iron pan, our air fryer, and our Instapot from time to time. Those are really the only kitchen gadgets that I am using whatsoever. Everything else in our kitchen is kind of irrelevant right now. Good thing I'm already pretty minimal and simple. We don't keep much, but definitely continuing on with this, I see a lot more simplifying in our future. The air fryer has been a must. If you are doing carnivore, you've got to get an air fryer. I'll link the one down below that we have. We are a family of six, so we went ahead and got the like double door toaster oven type one. Ours, it's a dehydrator, toaster oven, convection oven, air fryer, it like does everything. We love this. I use this every day, all day long. 
moving the kitchen around to have our air fryer kind of front and center here to be using was huge because we are cooking everything in this. I make bacon in it every morning. We cook steak in it all week long. I cook hamburgers in it. We throw hot dogs in it. Literally everything gets thrown into this air fryer. Chicken goes in there. Um, and so using this every day was huge. Having it right here on the counter, easy to access. I'm not, you know, messing with having to move stuff around and plug it back in. Having it set up here has been great. A couple tips with the air fryer. If you're going to be using an air fryer all of the time, cooking all of these meats, but you don't want your house to smell like that, something that we learned really quick being totally new to the whole air fryer thing is keeping it good and clean. So every morning and evening after I use it, I just put a tiny bit of Dawn dish soap on a washcloth after it is cooled down. I wipe everything down inside. I love it because the racks, we just take them out, throw them in the dishwasher each day and then I just wipe out the insides to get all of that excess grease off of the sides to the best of our ability there's some baked on but we get everything wiped out really well and then I make sure to wipe underneath it again with just a little bit of Dawn dish soap on my washcloth as I wipe it all down and then I just rinse all of that out wipe it down with some hot water and that keeps it really nice and clean the cleanup takes me maybe 20 seconds after we're done cooking, we sit down and eat, it has time to cool off, I wipe everything out, it's really super simple. I also love using these charcoal air freshener bags. Um, we bought these off of Amazon, I'll link them down below. Once a month I set a reminder on my phone to remind me to set them outside in the sun, you recharge them, they're good to go. We keep one of these, I keep one in each bathroom, I keep one in our fridge, I keep one in our small pantry where our trash can is, um, I keep them in the closet. I mean, there's so many places you can throw these things. I went ahead and just took one of these. I was noticing some kind of cre grease smells when we first were using the air fryer consistently literally multiple times per day. And so um, keeping up with just wiping it out after each use. And then I have one of these that when it's not in use, I honestly just throw it in the air fryer on one of the racks and just let it sit in there. Um, so when it's not in use, I throw it in there. Otherwise it's kind of just sitting on the counter next to the air fryer. And just a little extra added note here to be pulling out any cooking smells that you might have in your house. Um, these charcoal bags do a great job at just kind of pulling that right out of the air, leaving the room nice and fresh and free of cooking smells. So having the air fryer there has been huge. We use that all the time. The other thing I would use would be my cast iron pan. I found this at a thrift store, cleaned it real well, reseasoned it. Um, I cook eggs in this thing every morning. Anything that isn't going into the air fryer is being cooked here in my cast iron pan. I love how simple and minimal when you eat on the carnivore diet, everything can be because I'm not having to make all the extra things. There's not all of this other stuff that needs to be prepared. It makes it so simple, so easy. I have my cast iron pan, which leads me to my next item being our bacon grease saver. I love this thing. It is fantastic. Like I said, I got it off of Amazon. At first when I got it, I thought it was going to be way too big. Now. Great size. We love this. I save all of our bacon grease each and every morning and use it for everything. So I cook eggs on the cast iron pan each morning. When I'm done cooking, I rinse it out with some hot water. I put a spoonful of bacon grease back on the pan, kind of wipe it out with a paper towel or a cloth. So that way it's got a nice coat, just thin coat of grease back on it. That means the next day when I go to cook, I am perfect, ready to go. Everything stays nice and oiled and completely non-stick. So having my bacon grease saver has been fantastic. Not only do I use that on my cast iron, um, you can make a mayonnaise um, type substitute with bacon grease that is much healthier than regular mayonnaise. We use bacon grease. I put it on any of our other meats. So if I'm making burgers, I'm making steak, I'm making anything else, I go ahead and add some bacon grease onto that meat as well with whatever herbs or seasoning that we're using. Um, it gives you some great healthy fats. It tastes delicious and it's a great way to be using up all of the different parts. So definitely having the air fryer, my cast iron, and my bacon grease saver are the most used things in the kitchen every single day. Very, very helpful to have these just simple things set up that I can easily use every day when I am cooking our meals because I'm also finding that doing this diet, I am cooking from home a lot more. Before it was so much easier to just grab takeout or do something like that. It was costing us more money. It's not healthy. And 
now we're not doing that because we're eating at home, I'm planning simple meals, we're cooking everything, it is so much better. So those things I use every single day. Other things that we have added into our kitchen that definitely help when eating the carnivore style um, is something like this, like something so simple like taking this little plastic, it's this little acrylic container, filling it with toothpicks. I have it here sitting on the tray in the kitchen. This way it looks a little bit cuter, but it's practical to have here that we can easily access. I know my husband now, every time he's like, I need a toothpick. And before we were always trying to rummage around in the bathroom. Now I just have them pulled out here. That makes it nice and simple and easy. We've also added a shelf here on a um, cupboard that we can all easily access to keep things like our Himalayan salt grinder, um, making sure that we get lots of salt in our diet. It's so good for you. You get so many minerals in this, and so having it nice and easily accessible right here. Um, these have been simple changes in the kitchen that have really made a difference with eating carnivore for the past couple months. Easy cooking tools, much more space in the pantry, easily accessible things like toothpicks and salt all make all the difference as we're noticing that we don't need to utilize the space of our kitchen like we used to when we're eating this diet. I also do simple things. I've noticed like our fridge. I am organizing that much differently now eating the carnivore diet. I like to purchase cheap baskets from Dollar Tree. I've repurposed some old Tupperware. So that way when we go grocery shopping, I can take the baskets and put all of you know the butter together. I put all the lunch meats together. Um, dairy products that we do use, some cheese, cream cheese, all of that's together. I have all of our eggs gathered together. And then for all of the meat products on the bottom shelf of our fridge, I do take some Tupperware containers and I separate the meat in that. So that way if there is anything that leaks or anything like that, I've got it all nice and contained. It keeps the fridge tidy and clean. And so on the bottom shelf, we have all of our ground beef in one container. I have all of the steak in one container. I have all of the bacon in one container, all of the chicken in one container. I just line those containers up on the bottom of the fridge, organize the meats into them, and then it's really simple to see what I have, what still needs to be eaten. I can easily look at dates and make sure that everything's getting eaten on time or moved into the freezer if it needs it. Um, having that organized has been so helpful. It also helps because I can look in and say, okay, what do we have left to cook this week? Well, I've got a London broil in there. I've got a couple pounds of ground beef and I've got a package of you know chicken legs. Those are our options. What do we want to eat today? That's what we have left. It makes it really super simple. Also keeping everything else organized with all of the dairy products together, all of the eggs together, all of the butter together, helps me to keep everything kind of neat and tidy, allows me to inventory and easily see what I have, um, and kind of just keep all of that um, very simple. We also have turned our produce drawers into our sparkling water drawers. So all of our sparkling waters go down in there. We've got, I think, like lime in one and grapefruit in the other. It's easy to just keep those stocked, keep that full, and really just allow the refrigerator to be Yes, what we need, it holds our stuff, but especially when you've got four kids that are getting in and out of the fridge each and every day, having everything in a basket with some sense of organization really is helpful for me when I go to access the fridge later and need to cook and see what we have and inventory a little bit. Having those things organized has been really helpful, keeping the meat in containers so I'm not worrying about something getting knocked over or pushed over and then dripping out into the fridge because that's gross. Nobody wants to deal with that. That makes it really, really easy to keep it clean, tidy, sanitary, <laughs> especially when you've got little ones getting into the fridge on a near consistent basis. So those would all be some simple adjustments that we've made in our kitchen that is just much more fitting for the, car the carnivore way of eating. I wanted to share those with you today because I think there's so many great videos out there, but sometimes it's like, okay, but when I'm doing this, there's some practical things that I think can be a little bit helpful to see, oh, that's what you're doing with it. That's how you've changed it up. That's how you're keeping, you know, yucky meat juice from spilling in your fridge <laughs> and different little things like that that are just helpful when you are adjusting and doing things a little bit differently than maybe you've been used to. So I hope these tips helped you today. What are your favorite carnivore tips? How have you changed your kitchen to make it a little more friendly to this way of eating? Leave a comment down below. Of course, be sure to check out that playlist with all of our other carnivore friendly diet tips, menu, snacks, all of those fun things, and we will see you guys next time. Bye all. 
Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. You've listened to me talk for quite a while. But now, guess what? Somewhere here or here, somewhere on the screen, cool little things are going to pop up. And if you click them, you can come join me for other things and it'll be super fun. So click the things wherever they are and I will see you on those videos because YouTube really thinks you'd be interested in them. And I mean, YouTube clearly knows. So I'll see you over there.